I know that when you wake up alone, when your head is hurting from all that partying, from all those recreational drugs, I know that you wake up and ask yourself, is there more? Is there more? Or is this all? That little bit of entertainment, that little bit of fun, is that all there is? I know, because I've been there. I've been there. I used to love partying. I used to love getting dressed and going to the finest bars. I used to love it. I used to look forward. Friday night, Saturday night, getting expensive bottles of champagne and partying all night. But I used to wake up and I used to ask in my heart, is there more? Is this all there is? Because shopping or partying or travel or staying in expensive hotels or going to resorts tropical resorts they didn't they couldn't they couldn't bring me satisfaction because I felt emptiness in my heart that emptiness was like a quiet little voice quiet little voice that was saying inside of me is there more is there more to life or is this all there is and i'm here to tell you there is more there is something better there is a treasure that you are separated from that treasure and i have found it and that treasure has got a name and that name is a name above all the names the name above all the names the name of that treasure the name of that road is the king of kings jesus christ jesus christ when i cried out to god i said to god the god i didn't know i said to him god i don't know you I don't know who you are. I don't know if you are Buddha, if you are some philosophy, if you are energy, if you are like some occult spirit. But I was so down. I had such a bad day. I was feeling depressed. I was feeling drained. And none of those excellent fine parties couldn't satisfy couldn't heal the hole in my heart and when i said to god i said i don't know you but i want to meet you if you exist i need you if you exist i want to meet you i said it with a pure heart i said it with my whole strength, I said to God, if you exist, I want to meet you. I was brought up in a Catholic country. And I had disdain for Catholicism. I thought it was just a bunch of rules and regulations that never amounted to anything. I thought that it was oppressive and I was right because it is oppressive, because it is just an empty religion. Because when I called out to God about the truth, I've met personally the person of Jesus Christ, and it was the most beautiful, the most important meeting of my life. I met with the goodness of God. I met with the 
beauty of God. I met with the power of God. And in that one meeting, I was completely healed. I was healed from depression. I was healed from sense of emptiness. I was healed from a sense of empty life. I was healed. The emptiness in my heart was totally filled. I'm here to tell you that God is, and God is good. He is good. He is not God of rules and regulations. He is not God that punishes for bad and rewards for good. He is a God of mercy. He is a God of power. God of grace. She is the highest possible authority on this earth. There is no other authority. There is no other power. And ever since I've met Jesus personally, my life was changed totally. I was healed instantly from depression. I've experienced the power of God. I've experienced the grace of God. I've become a happy person. I have peace in my heart with God. I go to sleep and I know I'm safe. I go to sleep and I know who my father is. Because the creator of this earth, I call him my father. He looks after me. His hand is stretched out above my life. I can't be touched. Friends, you are separated. You are separated from the source of life. You are separated from the source of power. You are separated from the source of grace. Because you are behind a wall. But that wall was broken by Jesus Christ. And He is the way. He is the door. He is the way. If you step on the way, if you step on this road, that road has a name, Jesus Christ, you will be saved. Not just after you die. You will be saved here and now. You will be free. You will be destined for full life. For a fullness of life. That's your inheritance. That's the inheritance of the children of God. Not some leftovers. The fullness of life belongs to the children of God. But to become a child of God, you need to, you need to stand before God and say, I need you. I need you. I believe in your son. I believe that he is one and only God. I believe that he died for my sins. I believe that he rose from the dead. And I'm establishing and making him my Lord and my Savior. And when you do that, when you bend your knee in front of one living God, he will come because he promised that he will come. He's already done everything. He sent his son to die as a sacrifice for you so you could live so you could live full life so you could be blessed so you could be safe but the decision belongs to you the final step and the final decision belongs to you God has already done everything 
I'm here to tell you that the next step belongs to you. If you choose Jesus Christ, you will be blessed, you will be saved, you will become a child of God. I have done it. I have done it. And it was the best decision of my life. And I wish and pray and hope that you do the same. Because your days are short. Your days are short. And this decision belongs to you. You are the one. You are the one who needs to make Jesus Christ your Lord and your Savior. Without it, there is no other hope. There is no other solution to your life. No philosophy is going to help you. No meditation is going to help you. No shopping is going to help you. No marriage or relationship is going to help you. Because there is no solution in any of those roads. They lead to nothing. They lead to nowhere. It's a very wide road going to nowhere. But if you choose to open your heart and say to God, I want to be saved. I'm making you my Lord and my Savior. He will come and He will change your life in the most beautiful way, in the most unexpected way, in the ways you've never even imagined are possible. You will become a source of living water. You will become a source of happiness. You will become a source of God's power here on earth. And that's the best deal. That's the deal of your life. The deal of your life. There is nothing better, my friend. Nothing better than a personal encounter. Personal meeting. With the highest king. With the Lord, Lord of Lords. With Jesus Christ. Don't waste this opportunity because the kingdom of God has arrived is here right now the kingdom of God is inside the truth that I'm telling you the words that I'm saying to you that truth has the power to change your life completely radically and for good, that truth has the power to change your destiny forever. And I wish, I wish that for you, I wish that you step on this road. I pray that you step on this road. Because everything else, everything else is a road to death. I put in front of you life and death. Choose life, my friend.